is India up front. It seems there's no end to the parliament log jam. If you're thinking why, here's the story. The opposition MPs today protested both inside and outside the parliament demanding a JPC probe into the Adani issue. Congress, DMK, left BRS MPs were seen waving placards, shouting, we want JPC slogans in the, the corridor of parliament. Even as the opposition did not let the Sansad function on the seventh consecutive day today, that number is important. Seventh day of disruption, the Rajya Sabha chairman had invited floor leaders for a meeting in his chamber to break the Sansad logjam. However, the opposition chose to boycott this meeting called by Jagdeep Dankar with only the BJP, YSR, CP and the TDP in attendance. The BJP lambasted the Congress and other opposition parties saying that an irresponsible opposition was willfully stalling the parliament. They have insulted the Rajya Sabha chairman by refusing to attend the meeting called by him to bring a solution to this impasse. Listening to the two charges flying thick and fast, the BJP's attack and then the opposition's counter. जो मान्य चेयरमैन ने कोशिश की कि समाधान किया जाए और सदन ठीक से चलाने के लिए सभी लोग मिलके कुछ फैसला करें उनका भी अपमान फिर एक बार आज विपक्षी दलों ने किया पूरे सदन का आज विपक्ष ने फिर एक बार अपमान किया है मुझे लगता है जब कोई व्यक्ति या कोई दल के पास कोई शब्द ना हो कोई लेग स्टैंड करने के लिए अपने विषय के ऊपर कोई ठोस बात ना हो एक वीक विकेट पे कोई खड़ा हो तभी इस प्रकार के हल्के कारनामे सुर्खियों में बने रहने के लिए विपक्ष आज कर रहा है On the other hand, Rahul Gandhi today penned a letter to the Lok Sabha Speaker and alleged senior BJP ministers were not letting him speak inside the parliament. He claimed that the ruling regime was making scurrilous and defamatory claims. His words against him and demanded that, as per Rule 357 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in Lok Sabha, he must be allowed a right to reply. But here's what's interesting: last we checked, Rahul Gandhi's attendance in parliament was only 52%. well below the national average of 79% something that the bjp has cornered him since 2019 he has only participated in six debates today the bjp equated rahul to former nawab of bengal mir jafar and said that like jafar who took the help of east india company to become nawab rahul has the same mindset he must apologize this is nothing short of what mir jafar did it would not be an aberration to say that rahul gandhi is a present day meer zafar of indian polity rahul ji ka attendance parliament mein 52% age hai jabki national average 79% hai te hai adhikansh samay to videsh mein hi rehte hai matra 6 debates mein participate kiya hai ab tak is session mein is session mein matlab 2019 se national average 41 ka hai aur state average 68.2 keral se jahan se wo mp hai vayanad The Congress not in a mood to relent. The Congress hit back at the BJP once again, claiming that the government wasn't letting the House function by making Rahul an excuse. The Congress alleged that the BJP's demand for an apology was only a hoax to divert attention from the Adani saga. देखो ये माफी मांगने का तो सवाल नहीं है बार बार वो पूछते रहेंगे हम उसको नकारते रहेंगे उसमें कोई माने नहीं है ये होना बोल के इशू को डाइवर्ट करने के लिए कर रहे हैं तो पहले तो देखिए हमारे एम्बेसी पे हमले हो रहे उसके बारे में उनकी कोई बात नहीं है उसके बाद जो यहाँ के बैंकों से पैसे उठा लेके जा रहे हैं ये चौकसी हाँ, को इंटरपोल ने सर हटा दिया हाँ, है। मैं चौकसी ऐसे लोगों को प्रोटेक्शन देने वाले देशभक्ति की बात करना ये एक एक मजाक है पूरा संसद ठप हो गया है शाह शहनशाह उनके सारे वजीर उनके तमाम स्पोक्स पर्सन सब एक ही काम में लगे हुए क्या काम है गौतम अदानी को बचाना है एक गौतम अदानी का आप पर कितना दबाव हो सकता है कि पूरी सरकार ना केवल नतमस्तक है इतनी ज्यादा दबी हुई है कि पूरा संसद ठप कैबिनेट का काम ठप सरकार का काम बंद 